You're watching Alaska's News Source. A rare find in Kodiak. Archaeologists were tasked with excavating an ancestral side house only to discover a hidden gem dating back thousands of years. Ariane Aaron Bureau has tonight's Telling Alaska Story. Basically, that top stuff is burned bottom of the roof. And then we get to the floor. The voice you're hearing is Patrick Saltonstall, curator of archaeology at the Alutic right Museum. This is the back wall. I'm hoping to find a plank. He and a team of archaeologists were digging up what they thought was a fish camp at Carlick Lake on Kodiak here. Island. But what I they discovered the was something a, else. There was a slight depression on the surface and it just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we excavated this really, really large house. And, and it had a, a sod of walls, dirt stacked around it in a really thick roof. So they kept Trevor digging and discovering. So we're finding the big logs that held the roof up were big charcoal posts, basically. And then we noticed grass right there. Look at that, Danny. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Burnt wood and grass covered the floor, but once they started to remove it, they found fragments of charred weaving underneath. Amazing. They uncovered like whole sections of, of matting that were all woven and, and beautiful. A little bit more of the woven mat under in square 16 under the collapsed wall, and I think it extends all the way over to here, actually. They also happen to have a person with them who studies ancient plant remains to confirm it. And he said, you know, some of this stuff's woven. And, I, and and it was like, really? And we he brought up pieces of it, and it was like very, very exciting. Using a like method called radiocarbon dating, the they were able to determine the age of the charcoal here, found in the middle of the structure. Of the and it came out about 3,000 years ago. This rare find was a window into what life was like back then. It just indicates like, wow, maybe people were here a, a lot longer in the fall or winter than I thought. Um, and it, and it really did change my view of how people were using the lake. Patrick and his team spent two weeks carefully collecting it and other artifacts that will eventually call the Alutic Museum home. And it's amazing that it that the circumstances to have it preserved were kind of incredible. For Telling Alaska's Story, Ariane Aaron Bureau, Alaska's News Source. The artifacts of weaving will be preserved and documented. Cognac funded the project as the corporation owns the land where the excavation took place and has been supporting archaeological studies in the region. And if you're interested in hearing even more, check out the In-Depth Alaska podcast. We have an extended interview with Patrick Sal uh, Saltonstall about the dig and what they found. You can find In-Depth Alaska wherever you listen to your podcast or check out the video version. It's posted on our free streaming channel on Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Roku.